Hello and welcome. I am Scrapperlock and this is City of Villains on the Rebirth server. We are with Nightmare Lass, our level 10 mastermind, who has 14,800 experience with 1,000 go to get to level 11. And um, hopefully the server problems are fixed. As you can see, it's looking pretty good down here. It, supposedly they are better. This was really, it was more routers than servers. In the last episode, we were having some trouble with that, but we managed to defeat Zephyr, and now our next person to defeat is Dollface. Dr. Graves says we are required to submit ourselves before Dollface to endure her dastardly scheme. So far, we managed to foil Zephyr's foolish plan, which isn't saying much. And so he said, you would do well to know that your arrogance, no matter how far it has brought you so far, will likely cause you to be to your ultimate failure. Dollface has been given special privileges by our patron, so do not be surprised if she is more than meets the eye, if there's more than meets the eye to her personal plan. So now we have to go find Dollface, who is all the way across the zone, so I will pause it here, guys, and when uh, when we get to her, I will bring you back. Okay, we are here with Dollface. Bring my little buddies out here. I don't know if we're going to have to go into a mission or fight right here, but there are some bad guys right nearby. So, um, just in case we get attacked, we want to make sure we can defend ourselves. She says, you may think that you're so smart to blow up those longbow, but I'll have you know that I'm as smart as I am cute. We're going to have some fun with getting you in trouble with the police. Yep, I'm calling the cops on you. I'm playing the hero doll face cops don't arrest heroes. She says, yeah, that's what you think, huh? Well, Miss Smarty Pants, what if they think you're a bad lady, huh? Then you're going to jail. What are you going to do, mind control them? Hey, who told you? Did that silly doctor tell you? Great. My plan is ruined now. I spent all my time putting a mental time bomb in your head. And now we're being attacked. What's a mental time bomb? You see, this is what I don't like. So now we're being attacked. And I can't even finish the dialogue with her. Which is really frustrating. And I'm not sure I'm going to survive this. Because they're going to kill my little buddies. Really quickly. I, I, yeah, I, I don't understand the logic behind this kind of silliness. Right? Where they're... You're in the middle of this big long dialogue and you get attacked. Like, what the heck? And so now this is going to um, cancel the dialogue box, right? And I don't know where these guys are going to go now. Are they going to try to chase me? Probably. We can resummon. And now that I actually know I'm about to be attacked, maybe I can coordinate this in a reasonable way, possibly. I mean, I, what, what do we get attacked by, like, seven yellow cons? I mean, what the heck kind of a ambush is that? That's just ridiculous while you're trying to read a dialogue box. This is why I don't like these new missions. It's just so unreasonable. And it also means that I don't get a chance to actually read what her dialogue was. Like, what's the point? of making this really involved, pseudo-well-written, I guess, dialogue, or whatever you want to call it, if I'm not even going to have time to read it. And now we go through the exact same menu. So now she finally says, I think it's going to make your brain blow up in the next hour, or was it day? So she put a mind bomb in us. You were supposed to go fight some Arachnos guys and get the deactivator safety word and then bring it to Dean Yu at the university so he could remove the mental bomb but you screwed it up so I need to get this word to John Yu and he says yeah but I wasn't going to tell you that Dean Yu could fix it because then you could fix the bomb this doesn't make any sense to me whatever I don't like playing with you nightmare last you ruin everything so now the, now they're supposed to attack me and I'm supposed to defeat them. 
right? But because they already attacked me, I don't get credit for that defeat. So now I have to go find some. This is quite possibly one of the dumbest... Oh, there's some right here. This is quite possibly one of the dumbest missions I've played yet. And all because of the bad design of getting you ambushed while you're three or four pages from the end of a dialogue box. It's just ridiculous. This story makes no sense to me at all. This part of the story... I mean, like, what, what we did with Zephyr didn't make a lot of sense, but this is even more nonsense. Oh, there's a boss. That's great. Well, that's going to be hard to beat. That's okay. I'll just keep healing Meanie. Now I gotta heal Eni. Oh, now we're being ambushed again? Oh, that's just wonderful. Alright, let's try to find a better spot to fight Arachnos. Oh, great, there's turrets here too. There are some low-level guys right here that we could maybe go after. Just have to defeat two of them. Come on. Oh, the boss is still coming after me. Okay, that takes care of him, and now we just gotta fight one more guy. So they're probably gonna aggro other guys, but it's fine. As long as we kill the one, then it doesn't matter. Come on, kill him. There we go. Alright, so let's get out of here. And now we have to go to the university in Cap O Diablo. So I will be back when we are at the university. Okay, we're back. FYI, guys, we are now in a level 15 to 20 zone. So ask yourself, why would you send level 10s to a level 15 to 20 zone? I don't understand this. Um, the, this the hero version of this, the twin shot story, does exactly the same thing, sending level 10s into an area to attack level like 14s and 15s I don't understand this is explicitly a tutorial there we're here to learn about the university that's why we're here so it's a tutorial and you're gonna take level 10 characters in a tutorial and have them fight level 15s what I don't understand the logic I mean yeah I can handle it I'm a very experienced player but a new player wouldn't so we talked to the Dean, and he says, what's the meaning of this? I plan on receiving a grant money. The grant money from these inventions people are putting together. I'm going to need to publish papers in prestigious journals. I hope the reason you're bothering me is far more important than that. I've got a mental time bomb in my head. That is just so stupid. Mental time bomb, I've seen a number of people invent all manner of devices, but I've never heard of a mental time bomb. I have the deactivation phase, phrase right here. The activation phrase, what on earth are you babbling about? He looks at the paper, smiling, smile curling around the edges, and then looks stone-faced for a moment. Well, this is very serious. The phrase ego sum res fraudatio definitely has the ability to remove the common everyday mental time bomb. What? You see, it's Neo-Latin for better than a faker. This was the old way of saying haters gotta hate. Oh my god, this is just horrible dialogue. Harry, my head could blow at any moment. He just said the password. Why would your head not? In order for you to deactivate it, you will need to think of the phrase ego sum res fraudatio while you dispatch a good number of Luddites that have been making my job very difficult of late. So now we have to go defeat 10 Luddites. So 
So I have to think the phrase while I'm defeating ten Luddites. Is this the most ridiculously dumb? I, I don't understand who would think this was a good story. I really don't. I will be back when we're down with the Luddites taking them out. All right, we're back. We're here with the Luddites. I got a little too close. Get the demons up. And have them help me out. Oh, I see the problem. These guys are just spawning out of thin air. Well, that's going to be trouble. Try to heal my guys. Yeah, this is obviously... That wasn't a good place to start. But let me pick a different spot. Well, that's not so good either. Right, one of the things I need to do here is just land and figure out what's going on. And I think one of the problems is since nobody's around, like there are no other players, right? These guys are just like sort of randomly spawning. Yeah, those are not the guys I was fighting because these are yellow cons. They're just sort of randomly spawning and attacking me, right? And I think it's because there's nobody else here on the server. All right, so there's a lot I let's see if I get jumped. All right, now we should be able to take this guy with no problem. My guys really need more accuracy. Okay, next Luddite. Okay, let's go after him. So this is basically just a random generic defeat 10 mission. And they're pretending that while I'm doing this, I'm thinking this silly Latin phrase so that I my mind bomb doesn't go off. This is, uh, I don't know, not a very... Not a very, I don't know. It's just a goofy storyline. I I don't I don't know how else to describe it. Oh great! There's a lieutenant there. I'd how did I not see him? I was tabbing like crazy. I don't know if these guys are just spawning out of thin air or what. Alright, now we should be able to focus fire on the lieutenant. And I'm going to be gaining a level fairly soon. So after him, we'll need to defeat four more guys. Alright, good job, guys. There's a couple of Ludites over here. It's unfortunate that the guy near me is able to heal, but we should be able to take that guy out pretty quickly, the guy that was healed, and now for the lieutenant. And I'll, of course, two can play at the healing game, buddy. Alright, so we just need to defeat two more Luddites, and we'll be set.
These three should do it for us. So that was the mission. We're done. Alright, I'm going to dismiss these guys. I'm not going to hang around here because there's so many hostiles. And I will head up into the air and then we will call Dr. Graves. And he says, Congratulations on your stunning victory over Dolphus's heinous plan. I was quite worried that your head was going to blow up at any moment possibly causing an explosion rivaling that of your ego. The pride you've earned for beating her at her own tricks is, well, stupendous indeed. What? How do you know whether I'm proud? I, like, I, I don't know. I don't know who wrote this, but it certainly does not have the qualities of the original storylines. So now he says, with your resounding triumph over Dollface's plan, you will now move on to Crosscut's personal project. I am quite certain your cunning and intellect will surely allow you to bypass whatever simple plan he has in store for you. Yes? Yes. So it's quite certain that he believes the same. You should be able to make it through with, by the skin of your teeth. Don't tarry. He's waiting for you as we speak. So now we have to go to Port Oaks and get to Crosscut. So I will pause here, and when we're with Crosscut, I will bring you back. Alright guys, so we're in Port Oaks. Crosscut is nearby. Right there, in fact. And let's see if we again get ambushed while we're in the middle of a dialogue. Hopefully not. At least this way we have time, since we're in a mission, to go ahead and summon and buff our minions. And now we need to find Crosscut and listen to his plan. It's just so passive. Oh, just find him and listen to all his dialogue. Right? And, oh, you can you can do something active. You can click next. And just, just give me the old school paragraphs of text. It's just as passive, and at least it's it just comes all in one shot. You read it or don't, and then you're done. What? What? Who's attacking me? Okay. I must have missed these guys. Well, I have been really sloppy. I don't know where these guys came from. I didn't even see them. Attack, guys. Yep, I did not even see those. I don't know where they came from. I guess in the dark I missed them. Alright, we'll head back and I'll bring you back when we are inside. Okay, we're back inside. Hopefully I'll try to be less sloppy now. One of the issues I'm having, frankly, guys, is... I utterly despise this story arc, so I'm trying to rush through it, and I, I really shouldn't rush through things. But it's hard to want to savor things that you hate. The other thing is, was it me, or were those guys plus two to me? Why are you putting plus two minions in a tutorial storyline? I don't understand the logic behind these people who wrote this. Um, I don't understand the logic behind the people who wrote this these story arcs. I really don't. Why would you... Oh, no, there's plus one. He's a lieutenant. Okay. But they put two lieutenants together. Now, why would you do that? You're... This is a story arc for newbies. Like, I don't understand. I really don't. Oh, and they have mezzes, too. So he's probably mezzing my minions. Are you gonna... Okay, well, I'll resummon. I 
least they're higher level minions now. Alright, now I'll keep an eye on these guys and heal them a little bit better than I've been. So yeah, my guess is they mezzed these minions. And there's Crosscut. Gosh, I came through here I, when I went down this way. I didn't even see him. What a lovely look, Nightmare Last. Green is definitely your color. What are you talking about? I'm not green. Get to the point. Oh, but that's what when my friends no longer seeing those adorable warbles of please don't and I'll do anything for you to stop. But if you'd like, I'll do that for you since you're one of my favorites. Today we're going to play a little game I like to call hide and seek. I've drizzled a rather delicate perfume all over you with a blend of notes such as mahogany rose hips and orphan's tears. You may not have a nose for some aroma, for the aroma, but it soothes the savage snake. Your evil plan is to spray me with perfume. No, that was just something I felt would make you happy, Nightmare Lass. You are happy now, aren't you? Tell me, tell me, I make you happy. Since you are the silly hero in my game, all you need to do is use that little vial of anti-venom you have in the back of the cave. See? How devilishly frightening, yes? Why is anti-venom supposed to be scary? You silly little hero, how else are you supposed to live through the venom coursing through your veins? What? What venom? The kissy jukes my snake friends injected you with before you talked to me, of course. Shush, shush, you can talk to me later. So now we have to go find the jar of anti-venom. And what is this saying now here? XP debt. Huh. Yeah, I got a little debt when I died there. Alright, did I buff these guys? Let's make sure they're buffed. So now we have to find the jar of anti-venom. These snakes are not showing up when I tab. Are they not? I guess they're not hostile yet. Well, I'm going to preempt that. If I can, can I not attack? I can't attack them. Okay. I was going to try preempting it and killing them so they can't ambush me, but obviously we're not allowed to do that. We are going to get jumped by all of these guys. Fortunately, they're blue cons, so it shouldn't be too bad. And I'm going to position my minions first. I want you guys right there. There we go. You should be able to see him. So you got the jar. And now find the matriarch and re retrieve the anti-venom. What does that mean? I just got the anti-venom. And now they're hostile. Okay, let's see. Alright, go for it. These guys are going to be way more effective against blues than they were against oranges. Okay, and we'll let Eni do more damage. Okay, and then we'll attack these guys. Crosscut's just walking around behind me. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean... I can understand somebody writing an awful story arc like this and just not realize how bad it is, but why didn't the people who, like, were his or her boss read through this and go, no, this is bad. You should not put this live. I don't, I don't know. It's just like the... The writing is absolutely horrible. This, the, the plans these villains make are just so stupid. It's like you're in Looney Tunes. I mean, I, I don't know.
which way are we going to go? Yep, this looks like it. Find the matriarch. So there's the matriarch. She's a lieutenant. Um, let's boost their damage. And I'll boost Eni's to hit. And she just stunned them, I bet. We got her. And now we have to defeat the Matriarch's daughter. And there's the Matriarch's daughter. Go get her. Let me heal these guys up. And we have completed the mission. Okay. Let's dismiss our buddies and call up Dr. Graves. He says, I have assessed the details of what Crosscut put the hero you through, although you survived. It would appear as if Crosscut's plan succeeded as he planned. This round goes to Crosscut. Do not frown, Nightmare Lass. You are still ahead for now. Until our final event, that is. Okay. Um, I think it's time to level up, guys. So let's find our Arbiter. Should be one around here somewhere, no? There, Arbiter Unger. He's the guy that, that got mad because I told him the other Arbiter was wasting... sent me over to waste his time. And he's going to train me up to level 11, and then one more level, guys. And we become level 12, and we get dual origin enhancements. All right, so we train up to level 11. That gives us two slots. And I guess, oh, we got to start working on health and stamina, right? Let's start doing that. All right, until next time, guys, I am Scrapperlock, and this has been City of Villains.